Hey, Miss Michelle. Hey, Miss Michelle. Can you guys help me get her attention? Ready? One, two, three. Hey, Miss Michelle. <laughs> um, he hello? Hello? Miss Caitlin, is that you? Yes, it is. Is it already time for Discovery Land Online? It is, and our friends are already here. Oh my, okay, well then let's get started. In today's part of God's Big Story, we're gonna hear about how someone kept calling out a young boy's name. But first, can you tell me your name? Here, why don't you say it into this so we can hear you? I'm going to count to three, and then you can say your name into my phone. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, thanks, I'm so glad you're with us today. You did a great job saying your name, guys. What does it mean to speak? It's when you say something. Today, we'll learn about how God speaks to us. We can talk with him too, and we can sing to him. Let's sing and worship God together. Let's worship.
you, God, that you made me, and I am your kid. Jesus loves me so much, his love for me is big. The Holy Spirit leads me, and I can follow you. My life can tell your story, I don't wonder this is true. And today has a question for you. Are you guys ready? Hi kids, remember me? I'm Tack. For anyone that can spell, that's cat spelled backwards. And I'm always curious about everything. Do you know what it means to be curious? It means to think about things and ask questions. It's good to ask questions. I have something I've been curious about. Do you want to guess what it is? It's something very quiet. Hmm. Um, is it a mouse? No, it's something people do. Hmm, I'm thinking, um, I know what it is. I know what it is, you guys. Is it sleep? <laughs> No, it's something you do when you are talking. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Is it a whisper? Yes, that's what I'm curious about. Have you ever heard someone whisper? Do you mean like this? Yes, like that. I'm so curious why people might whisper. Well, people whisper when they need to be quiet. Maybe if a baby is sleeping, or maybe if you're in the library, then you need to be nice and quiet. Sometimes we even whisper when we want to tell a secret to a friend. Sometimes when we speak, we whisper. Sometimes we talk in a normal voice like this. And sometimes we even yell! In today's God's Big Story, we will hear about a boy who listened and heard a name called. Who was calling his name? I'm so curious. We'll find out when we hear God's big story, Tack. Well, that sounds great. Well, I've got so much more exploring and thinking to do. There's so much to be curious about. I'll see you later. See ya. Have you ever been curious about something? Let's take a moment and think. What words are you curious about? Have you ever heard a person say something that made you curious? We all hear people say things and do things that we wonder about. Do you know that God talks to you? Today's wonder truth is God speaks. Today we'll discover how we can listen for God. Okay, it's time for today's part of God's Big Story. But we've got some stuff to do first, Miss Caitlin. The first thing we do is we put on our listening ears and we have to make sure they're on tight okay. and straight. Mm -hmm. Yep, nice and tight and straight. Right, the next thing we do is our pay attention glasses. Ooh. Once again, I think mine will be donuts. I think mine are gonna look like those really cool cup phones we use. Ooh, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So then we've got to work on these too. So on three, we're going to zip, lock, and button. Ready? One, two, three. Zip, lock, and button. Perfect. 
So now that we've got that all done, it's time for us to prepare our hearts. Would you like to pray for us, Miss Caitlin? Sure. God, thank you for being here with us. We love to talk to you. We thank you for talking to us. Please speak to us and help us to listen for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Awesome. Today's part of God's big story is in the Old Testament part of the Bible. And really, all that means is that it happened before Jesus came to earth. But we're going to need your help today to act out our story with us. So get ready to act it out. That sounds fun. It does. All right, here we go. In today's story, we'll hear about a boy named Samuel who helped a priest. A priest is a religious teacher, and his name was Eli. One night, when it was time for bed, something really cool, Miss Caitlin, happened. Let's act like we're gonna go to bed too. Gotta go sleep. Are y'all cozy? Yeah, that's very nice. Okay. <laughs> After Samuel was in bed, he heard someone call his name. Samuel. Samuel thought it was Eli calling. So he ran to Eli. Let's all stand up and pretend that we're running to Eli. <laughs> Samuel said, here I am. But Eli said, I didn't call you. Lie down. Okay, let's go back to sleep now. Okay. <laughs> but again, Samuel heard someone calling out his name. Samuel. <laughs> he still thought it was Eli. So let's stand up and pretend to run to Eli again. But again, Eli said it wasn't him. So Samuel went back to his bed. So let's lie back and go to sleep. Again, Samuel heard someone calling his name. He ran to Eli. Come on, let's run to Eli again. This time, Eli realized that it was God calling Samuel. Eli told Samuel that the next time he should say, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Samuel lays down again and gets right back to sleep. So here we go. Again, God called Samuel, Samuel. But this time, Samuel knew it was God. Samuel said, speak, Lord, I'm listening. And God talked to Samuel. Wow, from this day on, you guys, God was with Samuel as he grew up. He continued to speak to him and guide him. God is not a God who is silent. He cares for his people and he speaks. I love that so much. Today, we're going to worship God by making music. Did you know one of the ways God speaks to us is through his big story in the Bible? I'm going to read you some promises from God's big story, some of the things God has said to us through the Bible. And then I'm going to flip to green so you can clap or sing or make music with an instrument if you have one close by to worship God and thank him for speaking to us. As soon as you see red, though, you must be very quiet while I read another promise. That sounds good. Let's test our instruments real quick. Okay. I like it. Awesome. Okay, here we go. God will always love you. God is always with you. will send the Holy Spirit to lead you. God will help you. <laughs> God listens to you. God speaks to you. You guys did a great job of listening to God speak with us and worshiping him. It's great to listen and God speak to us. He did, that was really cool. Okay. Now, can you sit down nice and quiet so we can talk to God? We're going to see what God wants to say to you today. Ready? Close your eyes and repeat after me, either out loud or inside your mind. God, what do you want to say to me today? Now let's sit in silence for a moment and think about God. Listen with your ears and with your heart. 
God, thank you for being near to us and speaking to us. Help us hear what you want to say to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hold your hands up now, guys, like you're going to receive a gift from me. Listen and receive the blessing as I speak it over you. Remember, God hears us when we speak to him, and he speaks to us. Children, may you always remember, God hears you, loves you, and speaks to you in many different ways. May you take time to listen.